Hi, my name is Al Martin. I'm president of the Washington County Museum of Fine Arts. The museum has provided a place for the presentation and exploration of art of lasting and enduring quality for the benefit of all residents of Washington County and a diverse public now for more than 85 years. We were established uh, by Hagerstown native Anna Bruce Singer and her husband William H. Singer in 1931 in collaboration with others in our community with the proviso that the museum adhere to the highest standards of collecting, that admission to the public be free in perpetuity, and that the museum provide an active program of public art education. Their generosity many years ago and that of subsequent collectors has resulted in a remarkable collection of over 6,500 works of art with a particular strength in American art. We're so pleased that over the last five years, the museum has been able to invest with public support over $750,000 into complete roof replacements of our original buildings, of the uh, gallery upgrades in several of our galleries, and replacing the 1930 historic skylights. Now the top priority is a complete replacement and upgrade of the aging and outdating HVAC system. The museum requests critical financial support for this crucial infrastructure project. The heating, ventilating, air conditioning replacement and upgrade is one that will dramatically improve the museum's ability to meet art museum standards for temperature and humidity control and to improve energy efficiency. The total project cost is projected to be about $1.2 million. The current HVAC systems are aging, failing, and providing inadequate controls. Problems facing the museum include outages, lack of redundancy, lack of humidity control, the inability to maintain museum climate standards, and concerns that this problem with the HVAC system makes a threat to the collections and our stewardship of them. The museum's national accreditation and its reputation rest upon our ability to be able to maintain these best practices, including controlled environmental conditions to preserve and protect the works of art entrusted to our care. The building is currently served by two compressors in the courtyard behind me. The carrier unit serves the 1930-49 original buildings. The York unit serves the 1994 building addition. Each unit is equipped with two condensers, but only one in each unit is currently functioning due to their age. As a result, there's been no redundancy in either system and a lack of available replacement parts, leaving the museum vulnerable to unacceptable fluctuations in both temperature and humidity. Replacement is needed as soon as possible. The heating and cooling and humidity spikes are detrimental to the preservation of our art collection. We're in one of the museum's early 1930 galleries uh, in an exhibition of, part of our permanent collection called Ashcan to Abstractionism, Modern 20th Century Painting in America. This unit, uh, this gallery is served by the old carrier unit that we were looking at outside. Unfortunately, as I mentioned before, our irreplaceable art collection of items in this room and others throughout the museum are in danger of these old HVAC systems and the lack of adequate temperature and humidity control. Last summer, or two summers ago in 2015, we experienced an outage for several days uh, due to a lack of parts. Our carrier unit was inoperable and the gallery temperatures in this gallery exceeded 80 degrees. It was 10 degrees above the top level for conservation standards. Those types of things and the humidity fluctuations we experience on a regular basis are not good for preserving our art collection. We need to address the HVAC system as soon as possible. The art collections in our museum are of national and international caliber and quality. Here in the Singer's Founding Gallery, 
we have uh, parts of their collection, uh, which was initially 100 works of art, along with the 1930 and 49 buildings that they gave to this community, Hagerstown and the surrounding four state area. We are so fortunate to have had their gift that enabled us to start and found this museum. This gallery uh, showcases their interest in art in looking at French Barbizon, Dutch Utopian, and American Impressionism art, as well as this very expressive Rodin sculpture, The Prodigal Son. On the other side of this gallery is a bust of Abraham Lincoln by artist Gustav Borglin. It's another national treasure. The head is half size, carved in marble, and is a version of the larger marble head of Lincoln uh, on a statue that's located in the U.S. Capitol in Statuary Hall. We are so pleased to have this national treasure as part of our collection. Gustav Borglin is probably better known as the sculptor who carved the heads of the four presidents on Mount Rushmore in South Dakota. But this is the old furnace, the boiler, that last year flooded and shut our heat off for several days over the Christmas holiday, and uh, we were fortunate to be able to get the system repaired. It needs replaced as part of this upgrade and will be. Our engineers and mechanical contractors who collaborated on the detailed plans for replacement of our HVAC system have recommended replacing all this stuff with variable air volume systems with reheat and other system controls that will allow for flexibility uh, and efficiency and energy use on helping us more accurately control the temperature and humidity levels within the building and depending on different uh, loads of uh, people and other activities going on at the museum. This is a special criteria that helps museums maintain a steady, constant temperature and humidity control, and to keep the space in the museum within acceptable ranges to preserve the fine art collection. Our general scope of work will require reusing parts of this system that are still functional and in good shape, but many of these old antiquated units that we can't find replacement parts for, or very hard to find parts for, will be replaced as part of this upgrade. We expect the work to get underway this winter and hopefully be complete by next summer of 2018. The museum hosts over 80 specialized art classes yearly for children and adults here at the museum. Tours, educational programming, outreach, bus trips, concerts and community activities account for 33% of the total museum attendance. The Washington County Museum of Fine Arts serves a broad cross-section of Washington County, including adults like me and an old dog learning new tricks that I've never had art before, but I am now. The Washington County Museum has been accredited by the American Alliance of Museums since 1976, over 40 years, and we recently were reaccredited last year in 2016. Only 3% of American museums have this fine art accreditation. The 31,000 square foot building is on the Maryland Historic Tour of Trust. The new HVAC system will also provide adequate comfort to the museum patrons and help ensure that we're able to continue to provide these outstanding services in our community. It's our duty to care for these astonishing artistic treasures. And one of the most important factors in their care is our ability to control the temperature and humidity levels with an adequate functioning HVAC system. Its replacement is critical.